very simple, easy layout here. Bend it, slide the swivel down, and kind of pick the boat twist. I'm going to teach you how to uh, pitch, flip a pitch. Rage Cross in amber, green, and black flake. Today I'm here with another Fish Hop 5 review. Beautiful fish. Hey guys, Ray Tom Bassman here. You're looking at her, old blue as I call her, um, my new truck. Uh, it's a 1991 Ford F-150 XLT Lariat. Um, and it's a two-tone blue. Uh, it's an awesome truck and uh, I really like it. Uh, it's got some nice rims on it. A couple rust spots, um, but uh, all in all she's pretty good. Um, she runs well, she sounds nice. Got a nice full eight foot bed. Um, the stuff you see right here, this um, carpet stuff, it's kind of like an indoor outdoor carpet thing. I actually found it at a junkyard <laughs> this weekend for 20 bucks. Um, picked this up. I'll go into it and show you in a second here, but let's walk around and see everything. Like I said, there's a few spots that are a little rusty, but um, for an old truck like this, that's what to be expected. It's got the nice cap on the back with the side windows um, and then these um, turn out so um, but uh, let me uh, start her up and then uh, so you can hear her and um, then I'll show you the inside real fast too. Here's the interior as you can see got some nice floor mats um, blue interior um, when I first bought this truck, when I first went to look at it, this fish was hanging in the window. Um, and as soon as I saw that, I knew it was my truck. Uh, uh, it's awesome. Um, and then I got my little fish bobblehead, of course. Gotta have that. So let me start her up, and you can hear. Got a nice kind of exhaust to her. She sounds good. Let me pop the hood and you can see. It's got a 5.0 V8 in it. A lot of power. Five point oh V8. It's a nice truck. So that's that. Again, my baby, she's awesome. All right. So let me get to the back here. So um, the way I've set this up, I can carry tons of fish and stuff for just everyday trips or to tournaments. Um, these right here, I picked up at Menards. They're little like. Uh, ball cling things um, and then you can you can pull that out and extend and it'll stretch up so what I did was I looped it through the top and then um, put your rod through here cinch it up and then the ball cinches up to the top like that too so it holds it up right up against the top I can fit um, one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rods. Uh, no, ten. Ten because the dome light's in the way, so I can only fit ten. But um, that's good because I, I won't bring as much. Um, but uh, so you can see that that's what those are for there. And they hang and it just cinches up. And then I got the back sliding window. Um, this is cool because this piece right here and this one um, come off and you can make it into a bed or just a cover so I can like shove stuff underneath here and cover it up um, these are it's basically like a, a boat uh, rod lockers I got my jack in there toolbox um, sponge some bungees ice scraper it actually just snowed <laughs> last yesterday it was 50s earlier it's supposed to be 50 next weekend so but um antifreeze uh, just um, got some rags and stuff in there 
But uh, this one over here is a uh, um, boxed in one. That's why I keep all like my chemicals to wash it and everything. I got some gloves in there, hammer, just stuff I might need right away, WD-40. Um, and then uh, they even come with these nice little uh, leather poles. This one here is nice and open. So I should be able to, I measured it out, I can fit 3700s in like this or I can lay them flat down and I can do 3600s as well. Um, and it's got a lot of room so I can throw some plastics in here, whatever. Um, I bolted it to the side of the truck so um, you know, you're not gonna, not, nothing's gonna fall off, uh, no one can get into it. Um, but I'm probably gonna put locks on this maybe, I don't know yet. Um, but it's nice because I got all this storage in here and then I can just like sit in here um, if it's raining or whatever and uh, I can eat it's like a camper it's pretty cool um, but yeah lots of room uh, if I wanted to take a lot of stuff I could empty some stuff I still got some room in here I can swish some stuff up um, but uh, got my spare tire and then uh, let me see if I can do this with one hand and show you how this works here. So you take this, and you pull it out, and then it's like that. So see, it turns into like a bed. It's made for a short bed truck, but um, I don't care because if it's fine in here, and then I got this nice bed liner too. Um, so. When you close everything up, and you can't really see stuff underneath there if I pack it underneath, so and then, uh, you can still get to these too. So what's nice is if I'm fishing, I don't have to crawl up in there. I can just open this side window and just reach in and grab what I need to get. So that's nice, and um, yeah, it's got two tanks on it, one there and one there. Um, so lots of gas for long trips. Um, and I'll show you these windows here too. They just pop out and it's got a screen so you can have these open and not the big ones. Um, it's nice. So that is my new truck, Old Blue as I call it. I'm a big Ford guy and um, I've always wanted a, for a blue Ford and uh, I got one and I've been fixing it up and like I said I just added, added all this stuff this weekend. Uh, me and my buddy put it in. Uh, we went to the junkyard because I had to get a few pieces for it. Had to get an armrest and stuff that was broken. And uh, we found this. And I was like, dude, I'm getting it. So, um, yep, I uh, will show you. Um, and everything's packed in here, what it looks like. Um, and how the rods sit and everything. I do have another eight of those to put on that side. So, uh, but for now, that's what it looks like. And that's what she's doing. So, um yeah, if you got any questions, um, it's got 164,000 miles on it. Uh, it's a lot, but it runs fine, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and I'm going to be fixing up the rust and stuff, trying to anyway, as the year goes on. So uh, that's my truck, uh, my new addition to my fishing arsenal, I guess you can call it. And uh, I'm excited. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, be safe fishing.